Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to Hawaii! We're... Oh, my mom knows I'm filming now. Hi mom! Hi honey! <laughs> We're in Hawaii. I'm in Hawaii on Christmas break. I still say Christmas break and it's not Christmas break anymore because I'm a working adult. All right, I hope you don't mind the light. I didn't like bring any lights, obviously, and I was trying to showcase Hawaii, but... <sighs> Do my best. <laughs> Doing my best. <laughs> Today I wanted to tell you guys 10 quick kickstarts to reset your health for 2018. All of these things on my list are really good for like building momentum into getting healthier. They're all like very simple, easy to just forget and not do kinds of things. Okay, let's start. I got my list here. Yep. Number one, stretching. Stretching is so important. If you can stretch in the morning and at night, woo! If you're not gonna do that, then pick one. One is great. Stretching once a day is fantastic. Stretching twice a day, even better. It's so exponentially helpful for your body. You gotta do it. Number two, drinking water first thing in the morning. So before you eat anything, before you drink anything, have a glass of water. This is so good for you and so easy to overlook and forget to do. To kickstart your metabolism, your body, to get it functioning, have some water before anything else. So very good for you. Very good. Number three, take a walk at night without your phone. It doesn't have to be at night. At night just came out because I was imagining like the beautiful stars and all that nice stuff. But if you're in a neighborhood where you're not comfortable walking at night, walk in the afternoon, walk for a few minutes on your lunch break, like whatever, in the morning when you first wake up. Leave your phone at home and try to focus your attention on just being present and noticing the things around you, seeing things that you normally don't see when you're on your phone. I tend to go like weeks without putting down my phone and just not realizing how often I'm on it. And when I spend conscious time without it, especially on something like a walk outdoors, it's really good exercise for my mind to stay aware and fresh. So that's number three, take a walk without your phone. You're welcome to take it with people or you don't have to take it with people. Both of those can be very nice. Number four. Find a way to get some cardio in. And I say find a way because I'm one of those people who I hate gyms and I hate running. I hate them so much. When I say cardio, I mean like getting to the point where you're a little bit out of breath. When you get your heart pumping that much, it circulates your blood and it just helps like detox the body, wakes everything up. It's so important to make sure that your circulation is getting a kickstart every so often. So ideally, once a week, do some form of cardio. Now here is a list of alternative cardios to something like running. Jumping on a trampoline, rollerblading, dancing, and almost any form of dancing. I really like that one. That's one I like a lot. <laughs> jump rope, jump roping with your friends, playing basketball, playing any sport basically, not golf. That's not a cardio sport. I asked my mom just now and she said, jumping up and down a lot in place. <laughs> she also suggested doing this during the commercial break or during an actual TV show you really like. She said that's a different way to watch your show. So if you wanna do what my mom said, that's a great thing to do and if you happen to do that, please take a video of yourself and tweet it to me because I really need to see it. Okay, thanks, at Love Alarm, John. Okay. <laughs> Number five. Number five is more about mental awareness. Number five is more about mental health. Take a few minutes, at least once a week, once a day if you can, and try to make it a part of your habit. So, so maybe it's before you have coffee every Sunday, or after you watch your favorite show, or whatever. But take a few minutes, at least once a week, and just be mindful. If you're a meditator, do a little short meditation. If you're not a meditator, maybe just sit still and focus on your breathing. Don't look at your phone, don't talk to other people. Just feel being present and being still. If you're more of a journaler and you really struggle sitting still, try doing some free writing. Anything that's just an exercise in mindfulness. Set a four minute alarm if that's all you can do and just sit and be present for a little while. And it will feel uncomfortable at first if you're not used to it, but that's good. That's part of the process. Let it be uncomfortable for those four minutes. Like you can handle four minutes. The idea is you're practicing being just with yourself so that you can kind of hear your inner voice more loudly than all the junk around you. You're not listening to all of that chatter and you're just sitting and being still with yourself. And that will really help you with everything you ever do in life. Every time you need to make a decision, the more connected to your actual self and not the jazz going on around you, the better. Number six, you gotta let go of all your junk foods. 
Number six, go through your kitchen and get rid of all your junk foods. No more junk foods. <laughs> We're trying to start 2018 right. We gotta get rid of the junk foods and replace them with some healthier snacks. Now this isn't as crazy and terrible as it sounds because when I say healthier snacks, I mean like start slow, start easy, and slowly build the momentum. So if you're used to eating like loads of cookies and that's just your treat and you love to have a cookie every night or whatever and you can't let go of having a cookie, then trade out your processed cookies from the grocery store, spend a little extra money, and get yourself some like clean cookies at least. And when I say clean, I mean clean, simple ingredients. No food coloring, no junky oils, no hydrogenated this and that, no crazy chemicals. Like, start somewhere and just slowly build up into a place where you're having, where you're putting healthier things into your body. Even if they're cookies, get some healthier cookies. Some a little bit more natural, a little easier for the body to digest. So things to avoid, for sure avoid food coloring, junky oils, peanut oil, soy oil, corn oil, canola oil, any oils derived from those things. MSM, MSM, MSM? What's that one in Asian foods? So switch out those snacks! Cool, and if you wanna go all the way, switch out, switch them out for vegetables and stuff, sure. But you know, build that momentum. If you're gonna start slow, start slow. Number seven! Okay, number seven is one that I secretly really like and I like to do. It's wellness shots. Wee! We're so well, wellness shots. You know how people do like fasts and things? Like there's that cayenne lemon maple syrup fast that people do and there are all sorts of different like juice fasts people do and things like that. A lot of those drinks are also good for you in small doses. It's not like have a fast and drink all of these incredible things or don't, you can take little bits of those drinks and drink them along with your normal foods. And that still really helps a lot. So for example, my favorite wellness shot is cayenne pepper and lemon. I don't add the maple syrup. I just don't. If you need to add the maple syrup, go for it. I also like to put a little pinch of sea salt in there because I tend to get low on electrolytes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean like, like a shot, like I take like half a glass or something and I'll just mix it up until it's like murky and I shoot that baby and move on. Other great things to add are ginger and turmeric. Those are both anti-inflammatory. That's very helpful for the system. And they both help with digestion, ginger especially. So the idea with taking these shots is not only are they just good, beneficial for your body, but they kind of kickstart little mini detoxes. Like they just get you going in the right direction. And that's great, because you usually have a lot of stuff built up in your system that needs to get kicked out, especially after the holidays. Um, I need to give a warning. Warning, if you're not used to taking these types of little shots or drinking them or whatever, uh, sometimes they can make you really gotta poop right away. So I would suggest take it at home when you've got five minutes before you leave. So if that happens to you, you're fine. And if that does happen to you, that's a really good sign. So no, there was some junk in there that just got stimulated to get out. That's great. And they tend to give you energy, so that's great too. Okay, that's enough, I'm blabbing. Number eight. Number eight is set yourself a really simple goal for the month, just for the month. It's a lot easier to complete a goal just when it's in that month. And then at the end of the month, you can decide, do I wanna keep doing that goal for the next month? Just do a different one, do both, it's up to you. If there's like a hike you've always wanted to do, go and do that hike. Or if there's a class you've always wanted to take, go and take that class. If you've always wanted to learn French, download Duolingo, it's, an, it's a great language app and just do the five minutes a day or five minutes a week for that month and then at the end of the month you can either continue or you can pause on it. Like whatever your schedule allows, whatever you feel comfortable with. My favorite month goal is to have a cell phone free dinner with friends. It's easy to just put it aside and put it aside and then the year's gone and you've never done it. So a month goal for me would be to get a couple of friends together and have a dinner where we do not have cell phones and we're just engaging with each other and communicating and building our friendship because isn't that beautiful? <laughs> yes, motorcycle, it is beautiful. So that would be mine for this month, for example. Now you know, if you're my friend, hey, you wanna do it? Come on over. <laughs> Number nine! Number nine is you write yourself a gratitude year in review from 2019. So imagine it's a year from now and you're writing about how 2018 was and you're saying it with a grateful tone. Like, oh, I'm so grateful that I had these experiences in 2018. That was a great year. I'm so grateful that whatever. But the key in it is you're not being grateful for specific things that have happened. You need to talk it through from an emotional state. So you're saying, <laughs> I'm so grateful that I connected with so many of my friends without our cell phones and now we have these much closer and beautiful relationships. Or 
I'm so grateful that I did all these little health tricks that Alana suggested and now I'm really feeling fantastic and connected to my body. <laughs> or you know, some real ones like, I'm so grateful that I've been more open this year than ever before, if maybe that could be a goal of yours. I'm so grateful that I have felt so much safer in my space in 2018. Or I'm so grateful that I had so many moments of pure joy in 2018. It's all with the angle of gratitude and from perspective of emotional, it's all just emotional. Uh, I think that one made sense, right? And it's really fun to look at at the end of that year. Number 10, finally, we're at the end here, which is good because I think this video went a little bit long, so I'm sorry and I hope you liked it. Number 10 is to not be hard on yourself if you screw up on any of these. So for example, it's really easy for, let's say I had a goal of not eating sugar for a month and then I catch myself in the middle of eating a cookie off the table that I just, didn't realize, totally forgot, and I'm just eating it now, and it's so easy in that moment to just be like, ugh. And then two minutes later, the entire box is gone, and I've just binged because of feeling shameful, and I messed it up, and whatever, and it's too late now, so I'll just eat this cookie. This is what number 10 is about. Catch yourself in the moment when you are doing the thing, forgive yourself for having done it, and then stop there. Don't continue, don't let yourself get into that kind of shameful zone of, well, it's too late now, so I'll just go all out doing this thing. Like, stop right there, take a breath, forgive yourself for having done it, and then move in the direction that you wanna be moving in, rather than falling back down the hill. This one is especially important because it really exercises that part of your mind, so it's easier for you to be making good decisions and doing the things that you want to be doing and like not shaming yourself. It's just good for so many reasons. This is one that will really give back to you if you really try to pay attention and exercise this. Okay, I hope those were helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you especially liked any of those or if you have any tips your own or really wanna comment anything at all, please comment it down below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Please subscribe and like this video and I will see you later. Bye-bye. I'm in Hawaii, so I'm gonna go to the beach if it ever stops raining, but it doesn't matter because I really like the rain. <laughs> it's so cute here.